you guys when they used to say on twitter that ah how something in lagos is a nightmare bruh i did not know to what extent hey chineke if you are doing butter or you just come from london and you wanna do big gear they will ruin you hi guys welcome back to my channel what's in the soap so today your girl is back it's been a minute okay no not really okay actually it has been a minute but you know how this life is man i'm going to be doing a full face of teos makeup it's a nigerian brand you guys need to get on it it's actually teos cosmetics so they have a few things they've sent me these things for a while now and some of the things are actually discontinued unfortunately but then they are releasing some newer things and i can't wait to see them i can't wait for you guys to see it too so let me just quickly show you the stuff and then we're gonna move into the makeup let's start with this palette actually this palette is discontinued now unfortunately but it's really pretty i've created a look with it before on my channel i'm going to insert the picture so you guys can see it. the day i did um florentina's makeup we did like this cobalt blue color but then this palette is discontinued they have way prettier things coming then they have this highlighter i have two of this actually let me show you mine so you can see that mine has been well loved you might not be able to see it but this light can you see the inside I have used and overused this. I like it because it's dark skin friendly. You can even use it if you're lighter skin. So I always use these ones for my cheeks. And then I use this one for uh, my tear ducts because it's way lighter and I can't put it here. It's going to look ashy. They have this setting spray. Can you see? Okay, it doesn't have a smell. It's just nice. And then, <laughs> then they have their beauty blender. You guys know I'm a sucker for a soft beauty blender. If it's soft, you'll find me there. Look at that. Very bouncy. They have this brush set. It comes in this purse. So it's a 10-piece brush set. It's really cute. I think this would be better for people. Um, if you're doing your makeup for yourself, you're not an artist or anything. Because it has every brush you need, apart from a few. But then it still works. If you're looking for a personal brush set for yourself, I think this is good. Some people are still using powder puff. For, hmm, don't, be, come, don't be cut like that. You can buy this one for yourself. Hmm. And you have a cute case that you can even put your makeup in if you're like your powder for touch up and things like that. Then they have lashes some mink lashes so i think i'm going to be wearing this one today it's so pretty yeah and they have a ton of lip glosses lipstick lip gloss yo you don't want to be caught slacking oh this would be nice for an ombre lip the combination of the three of them look at it and then let me tell you do you know my most favorite products from teos should i tell you this lipstick like look at the packaging i have not seen any nigerian brand have this packaging it is so lush like oh so pretty the packaging is very very sophisticated let's get into the makeup i'm going to do my brows off camera but when i do my brows i'm going to come and show you how i demonstrate how to use this product it's their brow gel so i'm done I'm back with my <laughs> back with my brows so now let's use the brow tint Unfortunately, this eyeshadow palette is actually discontinued, but it's really pigmented, like very pigmented. Let me just give you guys my life updates. So, post COVID, not literally post COVID, because Corona is still outside. Stay in your house. Post lockdown, that's a better, that's a better description. So I'm still at home. I'm not back to work here. Like work, I mean my nine to five, not makeup. After so long, I actually legit stopped taking clients. Even during the lockdown, when people were like, "Oh, I just want to do a shoot," so I just, I'm like, "No, no." Not because I didn't want to. Well, because I didn't want to. But then at the same time, you guys already know that your girl already has the things that she's dealing with health-wise. You get. So I really didn't want to be in a situation whereby I brought it upon myself. You get. That would have been extremely unfortunate. Ooh, yes. I decided to sit my ass at home. For the people that know my studio, like my physical studio, my studio used to be in Magodo, that's uh, uh, CMD Road. I say used to be because I, I closed it down. I closed it down for actually like several reasons. The major reason was that, so guys, I had to do my eyes off camera. Actually, they took the light and I didn't want to wait. And since the palette is discontinued, I didn't really want to like dwell on it. Let's dwell on better things. So I'm moving on to my lashes. I'm going to be using this one. I showed you guys earlier. This is the H28. Man, the way these lashes just sat. Oh yes, I found another favorite lashes. Kadas. Mm, so pretty. I'm looking at the mirror. It's been a while I got. I had lashes I didn't have to struggle over. I don't know of late. I see. I don't know how to fix lashes again. But apparently, it's not me. It's them. Okay, so I've primed my face. It's time for foundation. Then I'll continue to give you guys my life updates. It's really cat and dog and mouse. Just ignore the noise. I'm going to be using this brush. It's part of the set. Hmm. Nice. 
so the studio i closed it down for several reasons the major reason why i was totally done with that place was that myself and bimbo were already out we've outgrown the space for every time i filmed the youtube video i cannot take a client i cannot take a visitor i cannot take students like i literally have to collapse everything and I, if you guys know how my setup was it was so small i literally had to collapse and film from one corner like if i do the camera like this to show my whole business that people have no business in so it did not make sense that's number one that was the major reason so we're like what's the point renewing the rent for this space then number two ego money was a major issue for that small space myself and bimbo were paying 1.5 two years and it made no sense it was stupidly expensive for a shop in a complex every time i told someone that oh that was why i was paying for rent they're like ah why not just get a two bedroom flat three bedroom flats and have way more space for the same price or even lesser so we're like okay cool when corona came since march we had not opened the studio and our rent was due in june for another two years you get and my landlady she only used to collect two years rent i was paying that much for that small space it did not make sense one day we just woke up myself and we were just like you know what we're not renewing this rent and she was on the same page with me because she too she really wanted to expand she wanted to have like several tables for our clients for nails for students for training and things like that that's why we're just like we're exiting down when june came now our rent expired june 30th that's how we called our landlady mommy or grandma we don't we don't want to renew this rent oh heaven came down and glory if you that was so even without not renewing rent my landlady is a very or my ex landlady she's a very difficult person she's just extra difficult she was like hey you did not see anything before win 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 mama was shy yani now because i'm like in my mind i'm like hmm. except you want to give me this studio for free i'm not renewing this rent come watch me and we now told her okay ma that covid has been happening and we've not made any sales for a while so we need her to be a bit patient with moving out because we had a lot of fixtures it was a lot that we did in that place we did tiles we did pop we did ceiling wallpaper we literally made the whole place new we did gates and even when we were leaving we didn't we was like let's just leave the gate for them and we used a lot of money to fix that place up like and remember when i got that place it took almost more than one million to renew that to make that place look like what it was just renewing and um, renovating it to minus all our own furniture and stuff like it was insane so moving out had to we had to spend that almost the same money we had to remove all sockets move bulb remove this remove that so that was that that was that's the update on my studio i'm moving to my concealer so when we now close down now we packed all the things and the space at home so we just put it in one empty room at home that's how i started the hunt oh lord you guys when they used to say on twitter that ah house hunting in lagos is a nightmare bruh i did not know to what extent hey chineke if you are doing butter or you just come from london and you wanna do big gear they will ruin you wow this beauty blender is commendable it's impressive like it's not for the faint hearted at all bruh it got to a point being bust up going with me <laughs> what are you doing up there being bust up going with me so she's like and nope i don't have the patience for this and this was during corona like they had just eased the lockdown a bit this was even before they even opened us down at all this was like july that's how we started house hunting you know so we're looking at Tony, like ikeja shall like central ikeja so Tony, allen and okwebi that's how we started this thing oh boy <laughs> Jesus, estate agents in Lagos, they don't have sense. The ones that will lie to you, they are one about the oh god. I had like five agents, five more than five. Same. And the funniest part is that when you start having five agents in the same area, they will tend to start showing you after a while, they'll start showing you the same places. And you know, because I didn't know the name of these streets, I'm not familiar with it. So they'll tell you, ah, it become one in Sulia Buka, it become one in Tony, name Etim F. Younger. What's the name of that street? <sighs> There's one street of Tony that I really liked. I really like that was the best place I like. I say, okay, let's go. That's how we get there. They'll say number 16. I'm not look at the man like this like i just came here with the last person i dropped on the bus stop it was crazy i'm dreading going back to it i won't even lie shasha i should have found several spaces that i like to that's how okay time to drop money <laughs> i was going out something without money <laughs> i was walking by feet and not by sight <laughs> Okay, so we now want to have a discussion with my dad now. We're like, ah, okay. This is the update on our business, blah, blah, blah. My father said, okay, he will raise you, but it's not so much. I said, Any, anything you get. I said, begging all my sisters, my brothers, everybody. We're doing fine bar up and down. <laughs> So let me set my face. So, okay, we now found some spaces that we liked. You find this place, so next thing, before you come back tomorrow, somebody have paid for it. That was one frustration. 
because I noticed that in Lagos, going out something when you don't have your cash or your money ready in your account, don't bother. It will just be waste of space, waste of energy. Nobody is going to reserve space for you. In fact, those same agents that you think that your brothers that they are doing yes, I yes, I yes, ma. Let somebody come with cash like this. They will <laughs> the way they will remove your name from the list. So it was that annoying. Like I will see space, I like, and then before you come back two days later, the space is gone. They paid for it. There was even one space that I really liked. We spoke to the landlady, which the landlady is dead now, unfortunately. May I so rest in peace. We spoke to her and we're like, oh, we like this space. Not knowing that when I went in, I saw. Hmm, in fact, I feel like that's a story time on its own. If you guys want me to put my house on thing story time. Comment and like this video. You guys, I'm not even going to do the gist again. I'm going to just keep it for story time. Because it's mad. Mad. Oh, crap. You guys, look at my skin. Beauty blender on fleek. <laughs> Let's contour. Contour. I'm going to be using this flat brush. It's not flat per se. It's not round either. Let's just put it that way. That shot the update shot of my life. So right now, you guys notice that like I can't remember which video I, I spoke about about how I created that space in my room to film on my bed. That my YouTube backdrop that I did. It was actually because of that because I already locked down my studio. Is it that that and I don't bring you guys any video or I figure out what to do with my life. So that's why I did that space. So I'm going in with this round fluffy brush to dust off this powder. So that's how my house hunting went. So I went to Popsy and we're like, okay, this is the update, blah, blah, blah. And then it now suggested that, oh, getting a new space. Okay, this, by now, the lockdown already eased up a bit. So it's like, what's the point of giving a landlord that is already broke, by the way, and waiting for your cool cash, <laughs> giving him money during lockdown that you don't know when Corona is going to end. And you can't drop it. Before you know it, one year has passed. You another, another one M, 1.5 is due. You get so. You can't set yourself up like that. So that's why we decided that, you know what, let's just chill. So right now, I'm using a huger there's, there's no word like huger but you get what i mean a bigger space that we have at home for now as my studio both for filming and for client wise modeling and stuff and also because i told you guys i took a break off makeup during the covid period and even when every other person resumed i literally just got back into into filming and doing makeup and shoots and stuff and bruh i feel like a kid in candy shop again i check my insta story and check my instagram for the looks i've been creating like bruh it's been lit like I enjoy, I it just reminds me of how much I actually like legit enjoy doing makeup and not just doing makeup on myself only, like proper creating looks, bridals and stuff like that. I enjoy it. Like I don't see myself retiring from it anytime soon and going fully into beauty influencing or things like that. I love it. So that's what I've been up to. That's my life update. <laughs> I just thought to let you guys know. Let me spray my face. Season one. Okay, so I'm going in with my tear setting spray. Ah. Whew. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, for the highlighter, this is the Tails Cosmetics Tails Glow. I'm going to use the color Hollywood and then I'll top it with 1992. So, let's do this. I'm always scared of this highlighter because it's so bright. Please, dear. And the way I love this Hollywood color. I see that. Shara. This is what they call Shara. Same brush to apply my blush I'm trying to show you guys that you can use these brushes for a lot of things like you don't have to say oh this one is for this, this one is for that same brush can you see that we move yeah now that I'm done with my face and my eyes, my lashes, my everything, I'm going to go into the lips. So I'm going to be swatching some of the lipsticks that they have, starting with Sauce V. Yeah, I've already lined my lips with brown liner, just a random brown liner. I've been looking for a subtle pink, but it's not like nude. I don't know if you guys understand me. Ooh, damn. This is sauce B. If you pair it with a brown lipstick, you can put this in the center or a brown liner like I did. And if you're light skin and you don't care for a brown liner, you can just snack this one and you're good to go. Okay. So that's that. 
So the next color is Badi V. They actually have a color called Hoti V, but I don't have it with me. This color is real body V. Like, do I not look like a body? Do I not look like a body? Ooh, do I not look like a body? Mm. <laughs> So for their matte lipsticks, uh, this is the color Tripoli. It's a nude brown. I mean, it's a nude pink. Is this color? It's shy sure pink color, sure. Oh, let's see, it's light purple. next is this color it's called Lul Lulua so I'm not lining my lips for this one because it doesn't really matter so this is Lulua <laughs> I actually love it. you guys know purple is my best color so I'm a bit biased towards the purples so yeah I love it <laughs> so last but not the least is an even deeper purple <laughs> this is called Nairobi fever yo <laughs> This circle is almost grey, like he has a grey undertone obviously. Like if you are the girl that likes vampy, man, the 2013, 2014 me will be jumping for joy at this lipstick. I'm going to see if I can insert pictures of myself. Like I used to be obsessed with purple lipstick, like you could not tell me jack. Look at this, like I love love this lipstick, I haven't done a dark, dark purple like this in a while. I love it. Love it. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow show with this lipstick. That's how much I love it. <laughs> you guys, I'm glad I'm able to bring Tears Cosmetics to you guys. Like in case in case you are living under the rock and you don't know about it. Well, it's not only black owned, Nigeria owned, it's also female owned. So support a female business. Yeah, you guys know as our ritual when I review a brand or I bring a brand to you, I'm always going to choose my top three. Let's start from number three. Number three is the beauty blender. Love it. Love, love, love it. Love it. The beauty blender is so soft. Like, then number two, these lashes. Yo, I'm so glad that I have a new set of lashes. Like, I'm so glad. Very comfortable, very nice. I love uh, it's a tile. Yeah, can I choose four? Okay, if I'm choosing four, I choose the brush sets as number two. I love number, I love the brush sets. I love, love it. I love it. When I saw it, I'm like, mm. I'm used to more professional brushes, but then I'm able to do a lot with just 10 brushes. And I didn't even finish using everything. I just had to because I wanted to just try. I see I like three brushes that I did not even touch and I finished my whole full face. I genuinely love this palette. So the fact that there are several shades and you can do anything with it, you can do whatever you like with this. You can use it as eyeshadows, anything for it, different shades. It works for me. Number one, setting spray. In fact, let's bleep bath in it again. Cause why not? <laughs> you guys know I'm obsessed with setting spray. So I'm going to be giving away one highlighter, my extra highlighter palette. I was actually going to give away the other eyeshadow, but I could not find mine, so I had to open it. So I'm going to be giving away this extra palette and these two lipsticks. They are all going to the same person, so that we will not stress ourselves any further. I'm going to be giving these three things to the same person just drop a comment you don't have to say i want it please don't beg for it just leave the normal comments you guys always leave and i'm going to choose the person please be in lagos because i'm not going to do international or interstate shipping just lagos person only and if i choose you and you're not in lagos please i'm going to have to choose someone else so yeah two liquid lipsticks and one highlighter palette for anybody you don't have to be a makeup artist so yeah i'm going to leave all information you guys need below last like their instagram if you want to purchase anything please dm them they are swift to answer your dm no wala no stress and they ship worldwide and the funniest thing is that they are having they are launching way more things very soon so go in and you know start ordering now yeah i love you guys Thank you guys for hanging with me and listening to my life updates. <laughs> so round up where I am right now. I'm currently just filming as much as I can. Not filming for YouTube. I mean not filming, shooting as much as I can. Like because a lot of people now think I no longer do bridal and like clients. I don't no longer take clients and bridal and stuff like that. So I'm trying to push out more content in that area. And yeah, that's about it. I'm shooting models, I'm working with photographers, I'm, collab I'm collaborating more now. Just so that I can get back into the makeup world per se because a lot of people now think i'm just a full-time beauty influencer and nope i do makeup full-time please if you're watching me and you want to book me for anything birthday shoot party birthday burial wedding anniversary anything please shoot me a dm and yeah i am pretty affordable too well not pretty i am mm, in between 
<laughs> not expensive i'm way more affordable than you would think so please patronize your girl yeah so that's about it please check out tears cosmetics please 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 and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video love you kisses hey, Kiss